Do you ever feel lonely? Do you wish you could have a friend that you could take with you everywhere because they live inside of you, feeding on your organs, flowing through your bloodstream, and writhing under your skin? You've come to the right place! Today, folks, we're gonna take a look at all the creatures that use your body both as shelter and food. Warning, in addition to the regular disclaimer that is always in the description, this episode contains particularly disgusting subject matter and some images as well. There is no actual gore. These creatures are just inherently disgusting on their own. You have been warned. The first parasite we're gonna take a look at is called the human botfly larva. The human botfly reproduces by laying eggs on insects that feed on humans such as mosquitoes. When the larvae hatch, they wait for the insect to land on a human and then they burrow into their host. Botfly maggots have been reported in almost every area of the human body, including the scrotum. The larvae incubates and grows in a preheated skin postal at about 98.6 for 10 weeks and then it infringes on the movie Aliens copyright by busting through your skin like an athlete through a paper banner at a pep rally. There are two ways you can get rid of these botfly maggots. You can either let them burst through your skin and get sued by the movie Alien, or slowly pull it out with tweezers and hope to God that part of the maggot doesn't break off inside of you. The research I did in order to make this video will haunt me forever. Have you ever seen a bot fly be pulled out of someone's arm? It's like a car crash. You can't look away. Next up is the Candiru. The Candiru is a small fish native to the Amazon that locates prey from following ammonia. Usually, the Candiru would trace the source of ammonia to a catfish and enter through the gills. It would then attach itself to the inside of the gills and begin to suck the catfish's blood. Do you know what else contains ammonia? If you were gonna guess human urine, you'd be right. <laughs> Peeing in the river, enjoying the day with no fish in my penis. <laughs> Because this thing's a bloodsucker, if you're a dude, it means anytime you get a boner, this fucker gets an all-you-can-eat buffet. The next group of parasites on our list is parasitic worms, also known as the most disturbing image of a jar on the internet. Before anyone asks, yes, I am familiar both with Jar Man and the Pony Jar. Since there are so many different types of parasitic worms and new species are found somewhat often, I'm gonna put all of these guys in a big group. A good amount of the parasitic worms that infect humans are classified as roundworms. Roundworms range in lethality from a gross inconvenience to completely fatal with no recorded instance of survival. Some species of these parasites have grown up to 14 inches or 35 centimeters long. Roundworm eggs can lay dormant in the soil for years, so all it would take to get infected would be one wrong speck of dirt in your mouth. Because many of these species travel throughout the body using the bloodstream, they can affect a wide variety of organs. There are way too many to name in one video, so I'm just gonna list my favorites in no particular order. This is the Loa Loa, it lives in people's eyeballs and it feeds off nutrients in their bloodstream. This is the guinea worm, it bursts through your skin after feeding on you for a year and the only way to remove it is to pull it out really slowly. This is the heart worm, they usually live in the hearts of dogs but have also been found in the brains, eyes, lungs and testicles of humans. This is the hookworm, it tunnels up through your feet and attaches itself to your intestinal wall. This is the lymphatic filariasis worm, it causes extreme swelling of your limbs and genitalia. This is the belisicaris, it causes a fatal neurological disease by slowly eating your brain. This is the pinworm. It lives in your intestines and pokes its head out of your butt to lay eggs in the folds of your anus. This last one makes me wonder, has anyone ever had an encounter where they tried to toss some salad and came face to face with a pinworm that was exactly as scared as they were? Fun fact, this one guy pulled a tapeworm out of his ass that measured 32 feet long, or a little less than 10 meters. He wasn't even aware that he had it. Am I the only one that would preserve that in a jar? I wonder what the world record is. This shit, this shit right here is proof that God either doesn't exist or he fucking hates us. Another fun fact, you can buy tapeworm eggs on the internet. Just go to the, the not at all sketchy tapewormeggs.com. With these eggs, you could lose weight easy, play a pretty good joke on friends, make a scientific project or medical experiment. You know barnacles, right? Those weird lumpy things on the sides of boats. Did you know they're animals? Because I didn't. Yeah, apparently barnacles are filter feeding crustaceans. Who fucking knew? Third fun fact, did you know there has been multiple recorded instances of barnacles growing on human flesh? I'm not really sure if this is a parasite per se, but it belonged in this video. Oh yeah, and there was also this one time where a sea snail was found living inside this kid's knee. 
I thought you would also like to know about that. If you enjoyed this horrific delve into what lives in the human body with accompanying illustration, might I suggest you subscribe and check out some of my other weird videos? Maybe send this collection of nightmares to one of your friends, or more likely, your enemies? I don't know why the hell you all wanted this, but in a weird way, I'm glad you voted for it. By the way, we finally got a Discord. That invite link will be in the description. Big thanks to Spaceman0028 for constructing it, and helping my boomer ass navigate the platform whenever I got confused, which was a lot. A link to his page will be in the description as well. There are now more places than ever to harass me on the internet. As always, like, sub, and hit the bell, and I will see you all in hell. Okay, bye. Having a surgeon take out half their baby's brain, they knew that they'd done the right thing.